Greetings, folks, and welcome to Vinyl Therapy Sessions, May 14th, 2023. I am your host, Coco Smooth. And yes, I know it's been a while since I did one of these, and you'll understand why as I start to do more videos together consecutively. I was trying. <laughs> well, you'll see. It's just some sets are just not going to be completed. And I thought I, I could complete them, and I was like, uh, so I just held off, and then Oh, yeah, I'll explain when I do other videos what happened there, why I didn't share it sooner. But yeah, it, it, it's, you know, it's a combination of uh, just not having enough money at the time slash when it finally did happen, a flood came in, but it wasn't quite. I came close to completing something, and, but it wasn't complete. You'll see. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So, um, yeah, let's start first with something i didn't know was even a thing until i went there and that was this uh kimetsu no yaiba rui uh demon slayer shirt with the glow in the dark pop exclusive right um maybe i'll be compelled to open this i don't know it looks so good in its packaging <laughs> i'm beginning to regret opening some of my stuff because still you know this looked kind of good but on the same token i'm like mm -hmm. I don't know. Is it really that serious? Right? Is it really that serious? Yeah, I'll probably be opening this one up specifically so I could demo the, the glow for y'all for young Rui, right? So yeah, GameStop exclusive. And here he is. And yes, this is his uh, picture. His t-shirt's kind of cool. Next up, <clears throat> the Satoru Gojo Wonders Convention Edition. Yeah, I ignored him, so I'm on Hot Topic. I was like, okay, well, might as well just pick you up. And here we go, from Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah, I was like, man, don't I have a ton of these guys already? But, well, mm, yeah, I guess you really can't have enough, especially since he doesn't have his, uh, um, I don't know if his glasses or whatever is keeping his eyes closed in this one. <laughs> Either way, yeah, here we go. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Next up, Barnes & Noble's exclusive Megumi, Megumi Fushiguro with Toads. The Barnes & Noble, that Noble's exclusive. Uh, yeah. Pretty excited about this one. I might end up just picking up the BAM exclusive version of um, uh, Mahito from over at my boys dm pops dmn pops over in chula vista yeah he this is where i got this from the barnes and noble I, I got it from him because he had it and barnes and noble stuff is kind of hard to to get you know so i was pretty excited to get it my jujutsu kaisen stuff is getting completed oh my gosh there's just so many of these things that are being produced so fast i don't know if i could catch up it's almost feeling like them one piece cats right so yeah now, now that i got the anime portion of things away um you're wondering what the heck how did i end up with another ming the merciless well this one's in much better shape much much better shape it wasn't as dirty or anything and yeah look see it's clean not like that other thing yeah just kind of either way I kind of like it. I'm, I'm just missing uh, Prince Voltan and Flash Gordon himself, but slowly but surely I'll be able to complete my Flash Gordon set. Yeah. Cool. All right. And um, yeah, I'm going to skip this guy because I'm going to do something special with him. Sam Diggum or Diggum Frog from uh, Honey Smacks Kellogg's cereal. Um, Remember how I told you in the last video that, man, these 80s cartoons really and commercials really did it for me. So much so that it wasn't enough to get to just eat the cereal. Now I have to get the Duggan toy. <laughs> I didn't even eat the cereal, but look, I'm here getting the frog uh, mascot for this bad boy. Hmm? Yeah, honey smacks. Ah, man, these, these, I don't know, maybe it's just me and I, maybe I'm disclosing too much, but you ever eat a thing of these and when you peed, you can smell it? <laughs> <laughs> That's how sugary sweet these things are. <laughs> Not a good idea. Yeah, I mean, kind of like uh, asparagus. Oh, yeah. All right. Next up, 
Etrigan the Demon uh, from Justice League. The Demon Etrigan. He's one of my favorites these days. I mean, well, early in the, the 90s because of um, Garth Ennis's writing. I thought his stuff was good and that introduced the first appearance of Hitman in uh, his uh, series. So, yeah, ever since then, I kind of like them. The Rhyming Demon, you know, Jason Blood, real cool stuff. Yeah, Etrigan the Demon. Looks real cool. I'd probably get the chase if I could, but kind of pricey right now. Okay, next up. I really considered doing a single focus edition on this one because this is a fig that I was really mixed about. On the one hand, the pop on this is freaking glorious from Bloodborne, right? The Hunter from Bloodborne. However, the package not so glorious i want this to say bloodborne i don't want it to say playstation this is a nintendo i get it that this this is a proprietary brand but still this looks lame mm, playstation you're not that cute as far as trying to sell toys i think this is not the way to approach it that's why nintendo works better because nintendo in my opinion right you, you, it's understood that it's it's cooler because their logos and everything is cooler. But this, nah, you should have just stuck with Bloodborne. That's why I didn't get the Jinsaki uh, blooded one because I preferred the it's saying um, Ghost of Tsushima versus the PlayStation box. But either way, this pop is glorious. Look at him and his like the detailing on his weapons and his and his uh. Yeah, his weapon, his uh, his weapon and his gun is just really good. Um, yeah, everything about this fig is dope. Um, I may do a single focus later on on him just so I can pop him out of the box for you guys, you know, to to see and stuff. Right, really cool. Yeah. All right. Last but not least, director Destro. Now. This I was looking forever for, not knowing that he was going to, you know, it said GameStop exclusive. And I was like, why is he popping out in eBay? But nowhere can I actually see him. It just did not make any sense. And, you know, look at how glorious he is. I, I figured out why. Okay. So it turns out when I went to GameStop that they were selling these things, GameStop exclusive uh, Joe uh, box. I didn't know there was an actual Funko pop in here. I know it said Funko here, but it didn't occur to me. Somebody said that it may be like miniatures or some other things, but that wasn't actually Funko in it. It's a mystery. And I was like, you know what? I well, What are the chances? And surely enough, when I bought it, Director Destro was in it. And yeah, uh, his... Yeah, it came up with all these goodies. Kind of cool. Uh, G.I. Joe membership card. Uh, G.I. Joe dog tags. Real cool. Um, a pop kind of thing. Magnet with a keychain with a lanyard. Oh, uh, you know what? This lanyard is actually kind of money, especially since it's snake eyes and a command file. Yeah, I think this is a win. Oh, sorry about that. And a sticker. Decalish kind of sticker. Uh -huh. And some kind of map, but I don't want to mess it up. You know what? I want to see if, you know, I'm going to check something else out, folks. Um, <laughs> believe it or not, <laughs> I got another one. <laughs> I know, I know. I want to know if it's the same stuff. I think it is. Okay, so it's Snake Eyes. The, yep. G.I. Joe, the thing. Yep, it's all the same. Yeah, it's the same <laughs> sticker and and all. Yeah, cool. Like, well, well, why two? Why two? Because I couldn't help myself. This sucker warrants two. Look at that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, I'm doing. I'm gonna do a video so that you guys can see how dope he is. He's just. He's my favorite. Gosh dang, GI Joe. The you know that isn't a GI Joe. A uh, shipwreck's actually my favorite because you know he's a sailor, and he's from where I'm from. So yeah, local hero. Yeah, look at him. Yeah. And his leopard. It's leopard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's leopard. And just so you guys can see, I also, this is the only 
a classified series uh gi joe i have too just so you know you know i can see director destro and i couldn't you know, i had to have the pop i had to have the pop look <laughs> cheetah <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's it's dope it, guys can you blame me can you can you blame me all right folks <laughs> I think I shared a little too much with y'all. <laughs> this is it for this segment of Vinyl Therapy Sessions. Uh, Funko Pop Hall of May no, 14th, 2023. I'm your host, Coco Smooth. Until next video, folks. Ciao.